Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. Good cup of tea. Today, I thought it's about time I went through a few more notebooks and paper. Let's get to it. And so, what have we got today? Well, this is a notebook that was sent to me some time ago. It is an Apica. The Apica notebook made in Japan. And then there's a lot of Japanese characters. Looks really good paper. Then again, I've also got a Visconti A4 notebook with lovely plain white paper. You know I like Visconti. And then I also have this, which came from the All Parliamentary, All Party Parliamentary Group on Writers and Writing, which was an interesting little setup. Um, they asked for comments and advice from authors and publishers and agents and all sorts to find out what was happening with author incomes and so on. And when I went along to the presentation last year where they told us that author incomes have dropped by another 40% plus, they gave us all a free notebook, which bearing in mind how low author incomes are now, is a pretty good gift because at least we've got something to write on. They actually gave us some ballpoint pens too. They were dreadful, I threw it away. So, three notebooks to have a look at. Let's see what I think and let's see how they work. So here we go, cup of tea, four pens, three notepads. What could possibly go wrong? First of all, let's look at some really good paper. This is a little notepad that Visconti sent me and it's glorious. I absolutely love it. It is superb paper very smooth let me just say what these inks are before I forget I just love that Aurora and Klingner. This is another Aurora and Klingner, but this one is Verdigris, which is a very dark teal, and I think really gorgeous, lovely stuff. And this is ideal here because it is is Conti black, which I really like. It's a very black black. The only thing that surprises me is that even in my Viscontis, it does occasionally work quite dryly. But this paper is superb. As you can see, no feathering, no bleed through, nothing whatsoever. It works as paper should. So that is for me the gold standard today. This is the flashy notepad given to all the people who helped with the all-party parliamentary group on writers. Let's see how good this is with fountain pens. So, first of all, we have some verdigris. And I have to say, that is a surprise.
I had confidently expected this notepad would not work at all well. There is a slight amount of feathering you can see on here, on the verdigris in particular. There is just a hint of it, I think, with the black. Nothing at all with the blue mar. The verdigris has led to a certain amount of a little bit of feathering. What's the bleed through like? Again, verdigris has a bit, but the others have really performed surprisingly well. I am surprised. I thought this was going to be the worst of all these papers. It actually isn't at all bad. So, yes, impressed British government. You made a good choice there. Now, let's go on to this. This is Japanese paper which gives me a feeling of enormous confidence that it's going to be delightful. It is not Tomo River 52. It is astonishingly smooth. Very, very silky smooth. Really rather lovely. So let's see how this works. Try the verdigris first, since that's the one that was the worst in the parliamentary paper. I have to admit, just the fact that the paper's more white and less yellow makes it look a lot better. Well against my gold standard this is working very very nicely the black ink in i don't know why it is but this visconti black ink does seem to want to tram line every now and again and um not come out quite perfectly it could be that maybe i'm running out of ink in here and it needs to be worked on or refilled rather but that paper oh Absolutely gorgeous. It's magnificent. Really nice. Let's try the blue mar. Oops, no heat. Yeah, no problems with that whatsoever. I do love this sepia ink with a fine nib. It gives lovely line variation and I think looks gorgeous too. One day I'll learn how to write properly. So, this paper absolutely no show whatsoever with any of those inks. It is Ruddy fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. That is just about the best paper I've ever used. Or as good as. Apica. I don't think there's anything else to give an indication of where you can get it from. If I find this, it's an Apica notebook made in Japan. I'll have a look on the internet and put a link at the bottom if I can. And now we come to the really interesting one. This is the one that obviously everyone's going to say has to be about the best paper of the lot. Visconti. I have been using this a little bit and it has really surprised me because as you can see here it is not by any means perfect. There is a huge amount of feathering all over. The sepia is okay, this is the verdigris, and the verdigris went through completely. The blue mar also has a fair degree of feathering, and then when you, <coughs> pardon me, and you go over the page and look at the bleed through, 
It is dreadful. Honestly, I've only rarely come across paper that would react this badly. Now, it could well be that this was just simply designed for pencils and rollerball or something similar. Clearly it wasn't designed for fountain pens. It's still gorgeous paper. It feels wonderful. It feels really... I'd say it's probably 90 GSM from the feel of it. It's got a delightful smoothness, but it's nothing like as smooth as this Apica. This is absolutely silky smooth. This has just a slight amount of feel to it. But when you compare how the two work with fountain pens, you can see why I would personally pick this Apica every time. And much to my surprise, if I wanted an A5 notebook, the All Parliamentary Group, etc., All Party Parliamentary Group on Writers, really did make a very good choice here. This is something I can be I can use going out and about and doing things. It's also, has to be said, very nice cover, very nicely manufactured. Um, but this is something you won't be able to buy in the streets. This is a one-off for a parliamentary group where they wanted to give a freebie to a bunch of writers and agents. Very nice of them too. It's going to get used. This was given to me by a fan on the website. Very grateful for it. This was a delightful gift with my Visconti pens from Visconti and I'm very grateful to them for the gift. But I have to say that paper is not on a par with either of these other two pads, which is a surprise when you bear in mind that their standard notepad was and is absolutely superb. I'm surprised that they let themselves down a bit with a notebook. Anyway, there's a bit of a bombshell for you. So there you are. Some really, I think, quite surprising stuff. But it's always interesting to have a look at these different notepads, isn't it? And, hmm, I think I know which I'd pick. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to help support the channel, go to the Patreon link at the bottom. Other than that, you can comment and you can like it and you can share it and you can subscribe and then hit the bell button. And that's pretty much about it. So, for now, I'm going back to writing a book. Cheers. Nice to see you. Now, where was I? Go away.